Hi guys, welcome to my first hair tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my wash and go, so if you want to know how I achieve this look, please stay tuned. I'm using the Mayal Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. The Eco Style Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil Gel. Cream of Nature Butterlicious Curls Curl Hydrating Cream. Mayel Organics Mint Almond Oil My Denman Brush to Detangle and for Definition And just some clips to section my hair So I'm going to be starting off with freshly washed hair So this is what my hair looks like with no product in it Just fresh out of the shower um, It's gotten pretty long I'm going to be doing a length check for you guys so that's where my hair is at right now. The front is quite long. I think the front is a little bit longer than the back. And my hair is a bit uneven, but I'm gonna be fixing that very soon. Right now I'm just spraying my hair with some water because it was a little bit dry. And I'm going to be working in sections. So I part my hair into four, two sections at the front, two sections at the back. And this just makes it easier for me to apply product and to stay organized as well as to detangle my hair. You never want to detangle all of your hair at once. It's, it would be a mess. So once I've got my four sections, I'm just going to work one section at a time and that one section I'm going to split into two and be sure to spray your hair with water if you need some extra moisture. So first I'm going to go in with my leave-in conditioner all over the section and I try to squeeze that into my hair and apply it as evenly as possible with just my hands for right now. And then I'm going to do a little bit of finger detangling, not too much, just to make it easier for me to detangle with my Denman brush later. I'm splitting that section into two. And then I'm going to take my Denman brush and detangle my hair starting from tips to roots and this will help um, with breakage. You know, you never want to detangle your hair from root to tip. And then after that, I'm going to be adding my Mayel Mint Almond Oil just to seal in that moisture. And then I'm going to twist that up just to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to do the same for the other section. I already have my leave-in conditioner, so I'm just going to detangle my hair and then add the almond mint oil, twist that up, and then I'll have that out of the way. And then I'll do the same for the front section of my hair.
So once I've gotten all of my sections moisturized, sealed, and twisted up, I'm just going to go in and separate those twists and I'm working one part of the twist at a time. So what I'm going to do is apply my Eco Styler and what I should have done right here, as you're about to see, is I should have applied the Butterlicious Curls, but I forgot and I went in with my Eco Styler first, but no worries, my hair is still moisturized, but I always go in with the cream just for extra moisture, um, but I will be correcting that, <laughs> as you'll see. So to apply the Eco Styler Gel, I use the raking method. So I put the product on the tip of my fingers and I rake that through my hair until I get the definition that I want. And you'll see how I do that coming up. So when you apply the Eco Styler, you should apply from your root to your tip. I always make sure to get my roots just because I feel like my hair lays a little bit flatter and I have definition from root to tip. If I miss my roots, then my hair is a lot more puffy and a lot more afroy. Um, but if that's the look that you're going for, you can totally do that. It's up to you. But this is personally how I like to do my hair. And you'll see at the end, my hair lays flat until I decide to puff it out and pick the roots and all of that. But you'll see that in the end. So you apply the Butterlicious Curls. And then on top of that, you apply the Eco Styler. So my memory ran out on my camera and I really thought I was recording the whole video. Turns out I wasn't, but I just continued that same method for the rest of my hair, applying the Butterlicious Curls. And then I went over that with the Eco Styler Gel from my roots to the tips of my hair. And then I also sprayed water on my hair where, where I felt my hair was uh, drying out a little bit. And I continued that all over my hair. So this is what it looks like after I've had applied all of the product. So this is the next morning. What I did was I let my hair air dry for a few hours. When I went to sleep, the ends were uh, dry, but the roots of my hair were still wet, which usually happens because my hair tends to take three to four business days to dry completely for whatever reason. So when I was going to sleep, I didn't use a satin bonnet. I didn't cover my hair. I just slept on my satin pillowcase just so that the air could pass through my hair. I tried not to scrunch it. I slept very consciously, I guess. And these are what, this is what it looks like. I just tied my hair up in the morning when I went to take a shower and then I took it out. So this is what my hair is looking like. And I'm just gonna go in with my blow dryer. Yes, my blow dryer has tape on it, fight me. Um, and I'm just gonna dry and stretch my roots just to give it more fullness. As you can see, it's a little bit flat. So that's what I'm doing here.
So after I'm done stretching my roots with my blow dryer, I'm just gonna go in with my pick just to give it a little bit more volume because we all love volume. And then after that, I'm going to do my edges. I'm just gonna slip them down with some Eco Styler gel. This is not necessary. I don't do this all the time, but I just did it for the sake of this video. Um, so yeah, this is the final product, guys. For more natural hair videos from me, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one.